over the past 30 years it coincides with the madness of the pace of growth of the city and the collusion of interest between uh, i mean collusion of different interests who profited from the lack of a regulatory framework um, and even space for uh, you know the groundwater to be recharged this uh, can be exemplified uh, with an example of a certain campaign uh, that i co-founded which is about ensuring that uh, you know there's something called a subsidiarity principle of governance and the subsidiarity principle of governance means that uh, decisions which are made at the lowest level of governance would be the most democratic in nature of course there can be a social justice critique of it there can be a capture of such spaces but then if you have many if you have you know this subsidiarity principle as a standard that most decisions are made locally uh, then you will also start you will also be forced to adopt uh, an environmental principle international environmental principle called the proximity principle which is to ensure that um, if everything that you do um, is dependent on managing the local area so even the garbage that you create uh, generate in a certain area will have to be uh, managed in the same area or the rainwater that falls in your area should also kind of ensure that you know it of course once it gets into the ground it does not uh, follow ward boundaries but you should ensure that every ward has a good uh, space for water conservation right right and um, which is an extremely progressive but very very simple uh, way of understanding it you know and uh, this along with uh, the mandatory rooftop harvesting um, in bangalore bangalore has a mandatory rooftop harvesting rule um, and there are uh, i mean it has been uh, it, it has not been adopted 100% because there are also old houses where it is very difficult for you to you know uh, retrofix um, you know such uh, facilities and dig a uh, recharge well Uh, but then it is getting more and more popular because people are also realizing that you know there is a need for them for them to recharge the groundwater even for their own utility you know they might recharge their own borewell and things like that right so um, so along with the roof harvesting which is um, uh, on an average we have 1200 square feet houses uh, so 1000 what 1000 uh, square feet rooftops Uh, you should ensure that um, the water doesn't spill over and get out of the ward and that should be the base one of the basic uh, planning rules adopted in cities uh, it's not happening right now and as uh, increasing destruction of lake and so of course i've also worked quite a bit on uh, lake conservation and looking at the governance architecture to ensure that there is accountability and things like that i've also co-authored laws around uh, lake conservation um um uh, it has to do exactly what you said every city should ensure that uh, on a subsidiarity principle um uh, adopted in their governance that water has to be managed locally at the ward level at the least right and um, then you can involve more people local people to understand this because water democracy is all about water awareness too 